Did you know that 3D Blender is actually also a free program that you can 2D animate and draw in? I've been using Blender Grease Pencil for the last two and a half years for 2D animation and drawing. Let's set up Blender for the easiest drawing experience so we can start right away. First and probably most obvious, you have to download Blender from the website blender.org for either Windows, Mac or Linux. Once you're installed, you're good to go. Open Blender with double-clicking it. On this front page, choose 2D Animation as a new file. Welcome to the complex interface of Blender 3.6. But don't worry, we'll make this a bit simpler in a minute. But here's a quick rundown of what all these things mean. So in the middle here, we have the viewport, which is just a fancy 3D work for canvas. And that's where you draw on. In the top here, you have all sorts of settings. On the top right here is a library with all the things that are in the scene, then in this section Blender just stuffed everything that I didn't know where to put it elsewhere. So you find all sorts of things from our global settings to layers to materials and effects. Everything is sort of like here in the properties. In the bottom here that looks probably more familiar is a timeline and on the left here depending on the mode we're in we have different tools. That looks fairly messy and complex but we make this easier as I said. Let's set you up first for the tablet and drawing. If you're using a tablet like I do, I recommend changing in your tablet drivers to have the middle mouse button on the front button and the right click on the back one. Next, in the preferences, click emulate numpad and emulate three button mouse. Also, in the standard key map of Blender, change middle mouse action from orbit to pen. Basic navigation. Pressing Alt, you can pan your stage. By pressing Ctrl Alt, you can zoom in and out. And by pressing Ctrl Alt and the middle mouse button, you can rotate your drawing. And if you ever end up in this 3D void, don't worry about it. Pressing zero will get you back into the 2D flat view. Now, if you want to learn how to use Blender for frame by frame animation, I made a one and a half hour video masterclass selling on Gumroad. For just $9, I will set you up with all the hardcore information, from all the basics to animation, compositing, render, and most importantly, you will get my long crafted keyboard shortcuts specifically to frame by frame animation. But let's set you up with all the basics for drawing first. We have come a long way now, but there's three more things I would love to set you up with that make your drawing experience a lot easier. First, I would love you to download the super cool brushes from Daniel Lada. You install them through a pen, go to wherever you put your brushes here, and then look for the brushes, probably it would show like this, and choose all the PP brushes here. And a pen. You will find your brushes here on top. Second, let's install some add-ons to make this whole experience a lot easier. First, go to Preferences, under Add-ons, type in Grease Pencil. Tick that box. Third, I would love you to download another add-on called Story Tools that make this whole interface a lot easier for drawing. Download the zip file from GitHub here, then go in your Add-ons, Install, find where you've put that zip file, Story Tools Master, Zip, double click, search in that menu for Story Tools, tick this box here, then open the side menu and choose to enable button toolbar, click that off. You may wonder where the add-ons, you will open them by pressing N and it opens this side menu here, yet another setting menu. If you go on Story Tools here, there are all the things we would need for drawing. While hovering over the viewport, press Ctrl spacebar. Now you're in full view mode, except for the end menu, which can also toggle on and off by pressing N. Here's our layers. This is our grease pencil object where we draw in. There's a camera, which we not necessarily need. And here's the tools from the grease pencil add-on. Flip the canvas, save the rotation mode. So whenever you rotate and you want to go back, you can just reset to that. You can zoom to 100%. So this is a much cleaner setup allowing you to draw rather than to click buttons everywhere. Now to actually draw, you have to change in the modes into the draw mode. And now you can select your brushes here. You can change the radius here or by pressing F. On the side you can change into different tools like the eraser or if you have something drawn you can press Ctrl Alt and the right click to lasso select 
and delete that way. Here you create new layers. In this mode you can draw. In another mode, the edit mode, you can select your strokes and then with G move them around, S to scale and R to rotate. Another mode that's very handy is the sculpt mode, which I always use this tool. Change the brush size with F and now you can actually deform and transform your drawing a little bit more organic. Now if you're happy with your setup and you want to keep the brushes, I highly recommend you save these as default by going File, Defaults, Save Startup File. And that way next time you open Blender all your brushes will be there again and whatever you've uploaded here into your library will show up there as well. For the next step of coloring your drawing, check out this video I made here. See you around for more drawing, blender and art videos soon. Bye bye.